This is a normal humidifier. And this is our DIY industrial humidifier. You probably know that temperature plays a big role in making your room comfortable to live in, but you might not know that humidity can be even more important. Low humidity can cause everything from snoring to cracked hands. So throughout the years, humans have relied on two main types of humidifiers to maintain the optimal 45% humidity. That is evaporative humidifiers and ultrasonic humidifiers. Evaporative humidifiers fall into one of two categories, cool mist, and warm mist. Here's how they work. Cool mist humidifiers rely on air that is blown over a water-saturated wick to evaporate the water into the air. Now, this wet wick can harbor bacteria and fungus if not cared for properly. Warm mist humidifiers use a familiar technique of boiling water. This is the same method used to distill water and therefore has the least potential to release bad substances into the air. Now, the other main type of humidifier is the ultrasonic humidifier. These simply consist of a small piezoelectric disc that sits slightly under the water's surface and vibrates very rapidly. In fact, at an ultrasonic frequency, which is where it gets its name, this vibration creates tiny tiny little water droplets that quickly evaporate into the air to form a mist that is pushed out of the humidifier by a fan. For our industrial DIY humidifier, we decided to use an ultrasonic atomizer. This is a singular ultrasonic atomizer which produces 300 milliliters of mist an hour. But for our design, we needed something a little bit bigger and that's how we got this 12 head ultrasonic atomizer which will produce seven liters of mist an hour. That's part one of the puzzle. Part two, to get this mist out into the atmosphere, we utilize a computer fan, which is much bigger than the standard fan that you would have on your home humidifier. We don't obviously want these things running all the time because our house would be very moist. So to control these things without us plugging and unplugging, we have a Raspberry Pi that's connected up to a temperature sensor, and Jack made a program that when it hits a specified ratio will trigger this relay, which completes the hot wire circuit in this outlet, which is connected to the wall, and plugged in is the fan as well as the power supply for the ultrasonic atomizer, which is right here, 400 watts. And that allows this to function without us having to interact with it at all. As you can see, version one produces a fair amount of mist, but we know we can do better. Get subscribed to see version two, as well as a more in-depth build guide of how this thing works.